GM grabs EV market share from Tesla. It eyes more gains down the road. Talk about an unexpected headline. It's almost hard to imagine how someone could write a headline that paints GM in a good light with regards to EVs, and especially with regards to Tesla. Actually, scratch that. If you're President Biden, you could probably do it because you led and it matters. You led and it matters. The article says GM results also showed something that bodes well for investors in the future. EV market share improved dramatically. And let's talk about those sentences for a second because they're not exactly the whole picture. Yes, it's true, GM's EV market share has improved dramatically, but we need some context because remember, this is the same GM that only sold 26 EVs in Q4 of 2021 in the US. And no, that is not a typo. I didn't mean 26,000, I mean 26 EVs total. So here's the thing about market share. Considering those 26 EV sales in Q4 of 2021, that would put their market share of EVs at about 0%. And from that starting point, any sales at all are going to dramatically improve market share because they quite literally cannot get lower than zero. So the fact that they've dramatically improved their market share from zero doesn't mean a whole lot without context. And here's the rest of the context. Fully electric vehicle sales hit a record 6% in the US this quarter, and that's awesome. I mean, big round of applause to all of us American citizens. 6% is great. It's nowhere near the rest of the world, but whatever, we're not counting. Of that 6%, which is about 200,000 EVs, Tesla made up just over 130,000, which is about 63% of them. And this infographic by Electric really gives a good visual for the situation that the EV market is currently in. This is all the EV sales in the US and Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y make up over half of all the sales from all the companies. It's almost hard to fathom that kind of market domination with cars, but here it is. And there you can see in the top right, Chevy's Bolt, which Chevy is owned by GM, and that's GM's primary EV seller. They also do have the Hummer EV and the Cadillac Lyric, but their sales volumes are so small that you can't even really see them on this chart. But here's something the article won't tell you. They'll say that GM sold the most EVs they ever have in the US this quarter, which is great. But this chart tells a more accurate picture. This is GM's EV sales in the US over the last six years, and this tallest red bar is their Q3 2022 sales, and you can see it's the most sales they've had. But curiously, the second most sales they had was way back in 2017, and actually, you can see that 2017 was their best year, beating out their 2022 year, even if you consider that this Q3 of this year was their best quarter yet. So if we're looking at sales from 2020 to 2017, 2017 was a better year for their EV sales. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not exactly impressed that a company with the size and scale of GM is just now starting to catch up with their EV sales from five years ago, especially considering the absolutely insane growth of the EV industry as a whole in those last five years. GM CEO Mary Barra said, we're delivering on our commitments and affirming our full year guidance despite a challenging environment because demand continues to be strong for GM products and we are actively managing the headwinds we face. Oh, corporate speak really can sound like a different language, but here's what I hear and what she's trying to say. They're trying to continue shipping cars despite having a lot of problems such as supply chains and rampant inflation. The article also says that despite market headwinds, GM also manages to capture about 8% of the US EV market, selling about 15,000 EVs in the third quarter. That is up from roughly 4% market share for GM in the third quarter of 2021. And while this is true, their third quarter of 2021 was a pretty rough quarter for them with their EV sales continuing to decline. So the fact that they're up from that quarter, which was bad, should be expected, not praised. But also, it's the scale of EV sales that's off. GM sells millions more vehicles than Tesla, and yet when it comes to EVs, they're still selling a similar amount to the amount they sold five years ago. Whereas Tesla is selling multiple times the amount they were selling five years ago. So while yes, GM's market share is higher than it was a year ago, 
It's clear based on looking at all the numbers, not just the ones the article is showing you, that market share alone doesn't tell the whole story. GM is clearly struggling to produce EVs despite the billions of dollars they're pouring into development, and that is the real story. Not that their market share has doubled in the last year, it's that they're still only selling about as many EVs as they were selling five years ago. That's a story, but of course, you're not gonna hear that. All right, short video for you today. I just wanted to get this out there. Uh, that's gonna do it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.